So you're thinking about starting a podcast. I'm going to tell you why the Zoom PodTrack P4 might be something that you need. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel to all of my subscribers. If you're a new viewer, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so y'all will be updated when I put out new content. All right. So today we're going to talk about starting a podcast and particularly we're going to talk about the Zoom PodTrack P4 and actually you guys are hearing me through it right now. So I'm using it as we speak and I like this thing so much I actually went out and bought another one. Another one. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by the people at Zoom, but Zoom, if y'all watching this and y'all want to do some business, my information is in the description box, all right? So the first thing I like about this thing and the first thing that I noticed is how light it is. You know, I think that that's very convenient, especially if you're doing podcasts on the go. It's like super light, like you almost could just put it in your pocket and, and, and just move around, you know what I'm saying? So I like that. Also, this thing takes two AA batteries. And with two AA batteries, you can use it up to about four hours. But just be mindful that this thing do have 48 volt phantom power. So if you got four microphones, XLR microphones plugged in and you're using it, you might not get the full four hours, but it'll pretty much be close. But yeah, so I like the fact that it takes batteries because like I said, you know, doing podcasts on the go, this is definitely what you want. Also, if you don't want to use batteries, this thing do have a type C uh, power supply so you can plug it into the wall and use it as well. So you don't just have to use batteries. But, you know, if you plan on doing podcasts on the go, this is what you need. This PodTrack P4 has everything that you need if you want to start a podcast, you know. So first, let's talk about um, there's four XLR microphone inputs right here. Um, these are the gain knobs to control each microphone. Under the gain knobs, you have mute buttons. You have four mute buttons, so if you want to mute somebody, you can mute them. Actually, I'm going to mute myself right now. Yeah, so the mute button, you know, for each microphone. So if you want somebody to shut up on microphone three, mute them. <laughs> this thing also has four headphone jacks which is amazing to me like i was so happy because when i was doing podcasts i would have my audio interface for my microphones and then i would have to have a headphone amp to plug in all of the micro i mean the headphones so this thing has your microphone input and your headphone inputs in one and you can control each headphone with the knob so i think that that's like super amazing um this thing also have a sound pad it has uh, you could customize each sound pad. So if you want like little jingles and matter of fact, I'm going to demonstrate it on this one right here. So you can let's see. The cool thing about the sound pad is it do have a volume knob so you can control uh the volume of the sound pad so that's cool and then like i said again you can customize each of these you know uh sound pads to have your own jingle or song or intro or whatever also if you're going to be doing a podcast you might want to do zoom calls or phone calls and have people call in and things like that you can connect this thing it's called a bta2 it's an adapter that plugs in right here and it's Bluetooth. So it will connect to your phone or your tablet. And then that way, when people make calls, you can hear them. The viewers can hear them just like they hear you. You know, it don't sound like you're putting the phone up to the microphone like they actually coming through here. So that's cool. So this thing is Bluetooth compatible with the adapter. But if you don't have an adapter, you can plug in, you can get an XLR to 3.5 millimeter and plug it into one of the XLR inputs, plug the other end into your phone and you can still get signal like that. So that's cool as well. If you do plan on using that to make phone calls or receive phone calls for your uh, podcast, you want to go into the settings, go into the settings and there's a thing called mix minus. You want to make sure you click that because if you don't click that, whoever's calling in they're going to hear their self like a delay so you don't want them to do that you know that's like trying to talk and then you study hearing yourself so you make sure you go into settings click mix minus 
and then that way you won't have no problems that's a mic minus mix minus all right so make sure you do that make sure you do that if you plan on uh, having callers another cool thing about this is and i'm not going too in depth with the settings but if you go into the settings go to microphone you can go and click on they have a, a low cut and a limiter make sure you click that before you start recording and doing your podcast because that's what's going to make your podcast sound good actually you guys are hearing me right now talk there's no edit at all on this this is strictly just coming straight through the pod track p4 um so make sure you hit the limiter button and hit the uh, low cut button because it actually helps because before i used to record these audios and then i have to put it into um, my studio program and then edit the vocals and it was just a lot of unnecessary stuff so this is doing everything for you so again this thing gives you headphones microphones sound pad and it'll mix your vocals a little bit to clean it up so this thing is like doing everything so after you record your podcast and you want to get your audio files off of the zoom all you have to do is plug in the usb cord right here to your computer and you can get your files that way and also there's a, a sd slot so you can actually just take your sd out put it in a, a computer or whatever and upload your podcast recording with the pod track p4 is so simple all you do is just put your sd in there format it to your uh to your device and then just hit record that's it and after you're done you can either hit the stop button or hit the record button it stop everything is sound good clean like i'm just going to upload this directly and not edit nothing you know so also this thing has 70 db of gain so if you got one of those microphones that require a lot of gain this can take care of it actually right now my gain is on what is it on it's on three right now and this is how i sound and it actually goes up to 10. let me see hello 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 testing 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 yeah this thing is super loud so but um but yeah so over i don't know hold on let me fix that all right so overall like i said i definitely would recommend this um i have two of them so that should tell you something right there this is definitely good for doing podcasts on the go this freed up so much space on my desk because i had a laptop i had an audio interface i had a headphone amp and now i don't need none of that i just got this this thing is definitely worth it it's about two hundred dollars you may be able to find it a little cheaper uh used but brand new um to like two hundred dollars so i like I, I highly recommend it um i've been using it for a while and like i said even on batteries this thing is still give you the uh the the, the strength in the microphone so don't feel like you're using batteries it's not going to be as strong your voice is not going to be as strong whether you use the power supply or the batteries, it's going to sound the same. So just be mindful that the batteries will go. You will use the batteries quicker using a bunch of different microphones and having a uh, phantom power on all of them. All right. So that was today's video. If this video was helpful at all, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and share this video. Anything you want me to touch on that I didn't touch on or do a more in depth video on how to, uh, set your custom sound pads just let me know comment down below any questions you got about it just let me know and to the next time i appreciate you guys watching my media game peace